What's this documentary for? You're going to do a, a making of? Making of. And then you got to do a making of the documentary. Isn't there another guy with a camera? There's somebody following him. Good. Somebody you got to have a bunch of Stitch to the news. We're coming up on the foundation upon which my entire life was built. I told Kevin Smith many times, you're one of the reasons I'm a director. There's an element of luck involved, but it's also being the voice of your generation, which he was. I saw a movie and it made me change everything. He's like, hey, I'm writing a script and I'm putting you in it. I was like, yeah, sure, whatever. And we were gonna make like a video with some friends. I knew he was one of these guys that was into plays, somebody I would never have anything in common with. He was in every play in high school. There was nobody in film school that could write like him. 25 years later, people are still talking about clerks. I was aware of Kevin Smith beyond his movies, but as an idea. And he was eloquent, and he was funny, and he'd go on stage and talk for an hour. Kevin has created his own world, his own humor, his own fan base. Fans coming from Australia, Brazil, it connected with them. Kevin was the first person I knew that set up an internet visibility to reach his fan base. Kevin was on there. He talked to everybody. Now, you do that anywhere, but back then, it was just unheard of. We also had common interests in comics, Star Wars, and hockey. That we're now fully in the world that he was always evangelizing. I'm such a fan of his. I would have done it if it was a human walrus movie. I love Kevin Smith. Hello, awesome dude. He is a god among nerds. Who doesn't know who Kevin Smith is? He became a cultural touchstone beyond the movies that he made. He carved his own path in a way that I don't think was possible when he started. He will never give up. He will find a way to keep going and going and going. It was by default that I wound up working at the store that would literally change my life. People refer to it as a cameo. I would rather think of it as my first starring role.